Hi everyone, this is Stacy K in the farmhouse in the field. Yes, I know it's been more than a New York minute since our last basket class. I did find the video card that had the whole video uh, all completed. And so today what we're going to do is we're going to do basket number four, our D-handled forget-me-not basket. For the first video, we're going to concentrate on the handle itself. We're going to paint it. It's a nice little accent that we can put on the basket and very very simple to do. So for basket class number one we're going to be painting the handle. For basket class number two on this particular basket we will be weaving the basket. Step one is simply to prep your basket. I use Minwax stain to let it dry completely. I create this little vine just this is something I doodle when I am on the phone and I just make sure that if there's a cutout in the basket, make sure that you're not falling into the cutout. We're going to tape it down once we find where we like it. And then we're going to use some transfer paper. Uh, in this case, white would have been a lot better, but I didn't have it. So transfer paper, remember the transfer side has to be down. We're going to slip that underneath our tracing paper where we have made our pattern. And then all we're going to do is use a pencil and we're going to trace around to transfer our paper to the handle. So at this point, what we're going to do is use a very inky paint in order to go over our pattern of the vines. We want something that flows very easily. After that, what we're going to do is we're going to basically use a, the paint full strength and we're going to fill in our leaves and our flowers with the colors that we want. Now again, do not feel that you have to use the colors I have. These are the colors I have on hand. Anything that you like in your painting toolbox, you can use. You can paint the vines any color you want. You can make this into leaves instead of flowers, or you can make it into pink flowers. Uh, anything that really floats your boat here. We're going to use a secondary color for our shader. This time I used a Hauser Christmas Green. 
choose which side of the basket that you want to have as the light source and we're going to use this as a shader as the shadow this is a little difficult because the liner brush is so small but you're going to try to make the brush damp by wetting it patting it off on a paper towel and only picking up some of the color on one side of the brush as well as you can what we're trying to get is that paint to wick down the brush and with the liner brush it's very small so that it creates kind of a shadowing or feathering effect. I base coated all the flowers. I believe this was in Cape Cod blue, uh, maybe Delta. And then I went and shaded it with Americana Folk Art in Deep Midnight Blue. And we're going to shade it again. Here I'm walking it out. Again, picking one area that we're going to say the light is coming from and shading with this on one side of all the petals. You can, if you get it a little too dark, you can also wet, re wet the brush and go over it again just to make it wick down into um, the flower itself. This helps us to separate the petals and give it some dimension. Now, unfortunately, it looks like I did not capture how I made the centers of these flowers. Simply put, you flip the brush over, you dip it in some paint and go straight down in the center of the flower. Lift it straight up and you have a perfect little dot. To finish off the handle portion of our basket, we're going to use a satin varnish. I prefer matte or satin varnish. And we just go over the basket and we let it dry. Once we do that, we are ready to weave the basket. Stop by for basket video number two on this basket in which we will be weaving this basket. Uh, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and stop by when basket video number two drops. Thanks so much for watching.